Hi all, it's Tom here from Spooky Reviews, and today we actually might be reviewing something a little bit spooky, so uh, stay tuned. Yes, I am back for another video, and today uh, I have a mic, which I guess I'm hoping will make up for my lack of charisma. Um, I'm sure it won't. Um, yeah, but I've got no makeup on, basically, because... Couldn't be asked, I suppose. I've already been out, so I'm not gonna put makeup on just for you guys. No offense, but you know. I'm also very tired again. It's also very echoey in here, so I'm trying to be quiet. Um, but yeah, anyway, so today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, 2020 kind of reimagining of The Invisible Man. It's definitely not a remake, it's nothing like the original. Um, the only thing is that there is an Invisible Man, which I mean, you could literally put in any film. Um, but it's, that's the only correlation it has to the original film. Um, the film uh, stars Elizabeth, Elizabeth Moss. Oh, we'll get that in a minute. Try and speak English, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, and, oh, two seconds. Oliver Jackson Cohen. Yep, yeah, got my facts down here. Totally not just, uh, I've got IMDB up. Uh, as the main characters, and it basically um, stars Elizabeth Moss as a woman named Cecilia who has escaped from her abusive husband. Um, and there is a rumour that he's killed himself, um, but then she gets, like, haunted. And, uh, yeah, so there we have our plot, uh, The Invisible Man, and he he's kind of coming back to, um, not really kill her, just kind of make her life hell. He actually tries to frame her for various other murders, um, that basically, if you were anyone else, you, you'd blame it on her, there'd be no other way that, uh, those murders could have happened. Um, so yeah, he tries to make her, her life hell in the afterlife as well as in um, life when he was supposedly alive. A lot of lives there. Um, but yeah, I went into this film really excited, to be honest. Um, I actually went to the cinema, even though it's been out quite a while now. But I thought I'd go there. It's actually cheaper than buying it on DVD where I am. Um, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't buy it because uh, it was a bit of a letdown, to be honest. Um, it has some interesting points. Uh, to make it has some interesting elements. There are certainly some good moments, but ultimately the film fell flat for me, and I did leave a bit disappointed. Like maybe just because I'd hyped myself up too much for it. But um, yeah, I didn't think it was the best film in the world. It had a few tense moments, like one good action scene, which is a bit random to us in a film that is otherwise quite dull. Um, but yeah, other than that, I didn't really love the film. I probably wouldn't watch it again. But yeah, it's a one-time watch. It's a uh, it's worth a go. Uh, I'm gonna say The Invisible Man's probably a, maybe like a 5.5 out of 10 on like the probably the lower side of average for me. Um, but yeah, have you seen it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, have you seen the new trailer that's just dropped for Candyman, the new Jordan Peele film? Uh, I'm actually really interested in it. Obviously, Jordan Peele puts a lot of effort into his horrors. Um, despite what I think of them, they usually like well, at least well made, even if I don't enjoy them. Um, so yeah, what, you, what are your thoughts on that? Leave them in the comments below, um, and I will try and do a video once a week. Um, I'm going to try and record a few now, so that if I can't do any next week, uh, then I have a few to put out anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.